love something platonically in bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about all the what friends you've cuddled with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name names, addresses. <laughs> yeah. Who have you slept with platonically? In uh, a bed. What, you want their name? <laughs> I not? want their social security number. <laughs> like 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 three or four of my friends. That's okay. a weird name. Three or four one yeah, of yeah, my yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. Three or four of my, of friends. my friends. That's the full name. <laughs> of my friends. Esquire? Yeah, of is the middle name. My yeah. friend's last name. <laughs> three or four first name. <laughs> the hyphen three or four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good it's oh good. My God, Scottish? Yeah. Scottish name. It's Scott, it is, it is yeah. Scottish name. Yeah. Well, it's actually British and Jewish. <laughs> They're, d- they're a descendant of Abe Lincoln. The audience isn't going to get this. <laughs> <laughs> we had an incomprehensible bit earlier where uh, Abraham Lincoln was British and Jewish. Yeah, yeah, th- yeah strong we. That was you, baby. That was... <laughs> Hello, I'm Abe Lincoln. Oh, well, you're just being historically accurate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah. Not Biblically a accurate Abe Lincoln. Biblically, yeah, yeah. You saw Lincoln, right? Did yes, you? I did see Lincoln. I know Day Lewis was doing that accent. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see the movie. <laughs> you haven't seen Lincoln? I haven't seen Lincoln. He does that accent. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gabby, he does that accent. <laughs> he does right? that yeah, 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 yeah. accent. Even in his handwriting, he does the accent. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. like, oh, crumpets in it. Is his handwriting like, I am tall? Yeah, he goes, I'm so goddamn tall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he writes that to his lover. He's like, dude, <laughs> uh, do you... <laughs> I don't know if you realized I was tall as shit, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you realize this. for Especially for our time. <laughs> I'm crushing it. <laughs> I'm like six and ten. My name's Abe Lincoln. I was tall at the time. <laughs> How tall was was he tall for his time or he was tall? That's a good question. Was and I'm not tall? gonna look up the answer. Well, because yeah. it's like oh, what's yeah, his sure. name? Uh who's the guy that everyone like he is notoriously small? Who's the notorious? Napoleon. Napoleon. Yeah, Napoleon. But he's not that he short. Was regular that's, height. that's what I'm saying. Who's average height? That's what I'm Hold saying. On. So it's like Abe Hold Lincoln. On, I'm looking it up. Was, was Napoleon average height? Or he was, was six he, four. He was six. No, he was tall. Oh, so he, was he was tall, was tall dude, but not that. like weird tall. But with with uh, tall inflation, dude, that's like six ten back then. Oh, that's what right. I'm saying. That's yeah, crazy were short tall. Back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I didn't factor in the exchange rate. Dude, no, like, <laughs> dude. I, I whenever I learned that people are was he gay or he was bi? I guess he was bi, right? But I guess we'll have to. Yeah, he we'll did have comedy to find in Bushwick. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every guy, every person I I learn is by uh, like famous person. I'm like that's like from the past, like Marlon Brando. Yeah. yeah. He's just fucking everybody. I, and I was know. Like, of course he is, dude. It was oh, kind of yeah. awesome. James Bald. He was fuck James Baldwin. Yeah. James Baldwin. I thought that he was gay. No, but Marlon Brando fucked James Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were saying James Baldwin was bi. I was like, oh, he likes girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way he talked, Marlon Brando talked about sex was just like, yeah, just, just why wouldn't I fuck everybody? Yeah. He just yeah. loved to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. He was good. That's kind of cool. I feel like we all should be that way. It's I yeah, agree. Cool. Yeah. yeah, Marlon Brando, that's a real... I, you, I love are you taking any it. steps to be like that? Yeah, no, are you not take- really? I'm taking the opposite steps. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you I slept platonically in four women's beds. I'm going the opposite route of fucking dude. Do I'm you, just, do I'm you just sp- trying to chill. Do you spoon platonically, or do yeah, you just yeah, stay in the bed? Okay. Spoon? No, we cuddled up. Good. Got cute, nice. and cozy. Do you like oh, being yeah. the little spoon sometimes? Yeah, I'll be a little spoon. I'll be any spoon, dude. Mm. I just want to be wrapped up. Wait, if mm. if if you were requested by uh, a male friend, let's say like Kevin Mulheron, yeah, 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 and he said, hey. I just need to be held. Can you do that? Would you do that? I'd hug him. I'd hug him for. I give him a good hug. I give. Well, good, you, I give well, good deep hugs. No, I'm yeah, talking like a cuddle, like you're together on a couch, and you're like you're watching something for maybe like a good 15 minutes. Yeah, but Kevin's a horny guy, dude. <laughs> so That's I wouldn't trust point. Kevin with just. Pl- I don't. I don't know. If Kevin could sleep platonically in a bed, dude. That's true. He's actually. a horny dude. He is. I'm not saying sleep platonic, but just like a little cuddle, a little cuddle on the couch. But cuddles, uh, sometimes the cuddles turn into yeah. turn into more. The cuddles turn into more. He's gonna, it's not a trusted person. But he's no, gonna, I'm making tr- <laughs> <laughs> Kevin sound awful. No, 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 no. I just, I, Kevin would like kiss a neck, I feel like. I don't. Oh, he's going to oh, nuzzle into you for he's sure. Gonna, he's he's going to kiss my neck and then I have to be like, hey. Not and that. kissing the neck can be so hit or miss. That's mm. what I'm saying. Kissing your neck either feels like the best feeling in the world or like your uncle's doing it. Sure. Do you, do in which know? case it hits. <laughs> in wait, which wait, case wait, wait. it's I even said, better. I said sure, but I also don't know what you mean at all. 
<laughs> what do you mean? Like your uncle? Your uncle kisses your neck? No, my uncle. Okay, my uncle does not kiss my neck. Dispelling rumors. I hate my uncle. So. <laughs> okay, you would never kiss my neck. He's ugly. <laughs> I never say he's never ugly, look. but I don't like him as a person. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> my uncle's pretty fuckable, but I don't like him. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Hot dude. Reprehensible, but hot. <laughs> I feel that way all the time about people. Yeah. But they're, they're usually not related to them. No. <laughs> but like, okay, do you know that feeling of like someone goes to kiss you on the cheek or something and like you could feel that their their mouth's going to be like wet? Sure. No one goes to kiss me on the cheek. Why not, Lucas? <laughs> I just fucking staring off. <laughs> I'll, I'll kiss you right now. Does no one kiss you on the cheek? Aw. No, I've gotten kissed on the cheek. Oh, I was okay. doing a, I was doing a bit. No, <laughs> I know, but now I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, no, now yeah. Okay, Jake I don't is think the host. Jake I don't is think, the host. Yeah. yeah, I don't think people. I th do you think that men and women receive r like a move to get kissed on the cheek the same? Probably not. Yeah, I think. But it's you're different. Italian. You guys all. I kiss think on dudes. The cheek. True. I think dudes take it as uh, more than what it is for the most part. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. Think yeah. When a, if a woman kisses a guy on the cheek. He's likely to be like, I got a shot. Because <laughs> I have some friends who are like very flirty. Yeah. Uh, but they're just flirty. Like they're just like a very touchy, flirty person. And almost every person they meet, every male friend of mine that they meet, like is like, she wants to have sex with me. Yeah. I'm like, I've known her like seven years. She does not want to fuck you. <laughs> Also, she works at a bar, and we're at the bar, so I think that might... She's trying to get a tip. <laughs> She's trying to get a tip, bro. Shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> that reminds me of a good Tony Zajkowski joke, where he's like, I learned a lot being sober. For example, do you guys know bartenders aren't flirting with you? They're just doing their job. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you need to be sober to figure that out. <laughs> you know what's funny is I remember we were at a restaurant one night, and you were like... you were, there were, like The waitress just came by, and you were like... You I were like giving me the eyebrow. I was like, no, she's just being nice to us, dude. I was like, I, I detected no. Okay, I interest. never did that. I am not my father's daughter at all. I've <laughs> never done that. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame you though. There's this a very real thing is that uh, what's it called when when even when you know it's not real, there's a part of you that goes. It's like what if the moment a, the moment you will identify with this, dude. Yes, oh. and if you don't, you're lying. <laughs> Go on, no, go on, you go both. On. I thought you this. both will identify with this. Okay. If if somebody, if if someone you're interested in, whether yeah. it's a a a, a, w a waiter, a bartender, whoever the fuck it is, or just a person in life, if somebody like laughs at something you say in a certain way, yeah, your brain just goes, "Time, we, we can have sex." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, I, and I then in the context that. of like a waiter, you have to be like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell your brain that's you're being an idiot. Yeah. No, Shut I up. know exactly. I know exactly what you mean. But I jump to you're being an idiot very quickly. Yeah, me too. In those situations. Me too. I sure. It's like it's like 10 seconds for me. 10 seconds? Yeah. But that's a gap that I closed, you know? Yeah. yeah. Used to yep. be Used to be longer. Half. <laughs> <laughs> you used go to back be... to the restaurant, leave her a love note. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you're I'm like fine. wearing a tighter shirt. Like, what? what are you doing? You're like, I'm fine. I can't move, but I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, put it this way. I've written my number on receipts when I was younger. Yeah. And now... Did it ever work? No, not once. It never works. <laughs> it never... It's a crazy... It's a fool's error. I, I had a roommate once who I saw him do it, and it worked. Really? Yeah. He was a hot guy, huh? No. No? She... What? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jake. They were in love for real. Wait, what? That worked? See, because it can oh, happen. Oh, no, it, did, it didn't last. It, no, 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 it can it happen. Last. No, I know, but, but she... No, she but she... Him. Yeah, she, she called him up. Wow. He got that riz. So you got you got to get so. back on it. Yeah, you got to start doing. I got to get back on that game. Well, now I just I just ask them. Yeah. That's oh. If I really think there's a shot, I just go, "Hey, let me get your number." That's it, very has, nice. Has it anything? Yeah. Oh, nice. A couple times I've gotten the number. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But then sometimes. Oh, so wait. So you have had success doing like. But the receipt, like, it's never happened. The receipt. Well, okay. that's the thing though too. Is that is that is that? Because I'm friends with a couple bartenders too, yeah. and like. The, they do end up dating patrons sometimes. I'm sure that's yeah, true. Of course, and yeah. so it's one of those things where it's like, you're not wrong to be like, maybe it's me. Yeah. But it's just that like, it's a lot of figuring it out. Mm. And most people aren't paying close enough attention mm. to distinguish between like the way someone's flirty when they're actually interested and the way someone's flirty when they're like, I want you to tip more. Right. Yeah. If you could distill the difference down to anything, what made you go, oh, no, I'm going to ask? What was, like, 
the the reasoning if like the most recent time uh, if you remember well, if a person does stuff that's not for their gain at all, like mm. somebody like um, they they clo- I cl- I wanted to close out, yeah, and then they uh, they closed me out, and then they took my card and they like went to go give it to me, and then said they put it behind the bar and then kept giving me drinks, free drinks. Uh, I'm like this per- like sh- there's no gain for her. I'm not right. paying money anymore. She just wants me to be there till the end of the shift. Or maybe she wanted you to admit to all your crimes. She's well, trying I, to get you drunk. Well, here's the thing. I trying to that. like black like blackmail you with your own credit card. Like I'm holding this. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can do some stuff. But here's the thing. The, I, I admit my crimes the moment I meet people. That's such a good point. Yeah, I immediately go like I did kill that person. Yeah, and it's so valid yeah. because that like we do need more honesty in our society. Well, it's valid to kill too, is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah, and I you guys so. are on record saying that on Two Nosy Meerkats podcast. Two Nosy <laughs> Welcome. Today we are introducing. Let me do the Lucas style intro. A fantastic comedian. Uh, I'm sorry. The Lucas style thing is just giving a compliment. Nice. <laughs> you all just being you a nice guy. Say, you always say the word fantastic. Okay. Which makes sense. Everyone we interview a is A good fantastic. word to use. An yeah. accurate word, I would say. But I just, I love it because you do it with such riz every time. You're like a fantastic I'm comedian. flirting with every guest that we have. Mm. Hell yeah, dude. It's okay. working, dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel on, the sexual attention. Bring it, bring I feel it like home, you're, you're like home. Lydia Tarr, like conducting. You're like a fantastic comedian. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pretend and like then, I got that. <laughs> well, Tarr, the, the Kate Blanchett. No, I, I know oh. the movie. The I just conductor. haven't seen it. Okay. I haven't seen it either. Oh, so you've and that's where we connect. You've been groomed lesbian assistants before. (laughs) How could you? All of this to say, we have. Okay, well, now I love the movie. (laughs) Now I know exactly what it is. We have the host of Dads Like Ducks. Very funny, man. Give it up for Jake Letizia. Dude. And you also have your own podcast, right? I talking do. Talking to myself. It's podcast. Talking to myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and it's literally you talking to yourself. Yeah, I've had I've had guests on it, and I'm trying to have more guests. Uh, nice, but. Uh, it's mostly just me. Yeah. I saw when you had Ralph on. That was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I, I, the first guest I ever had on it was my mom. Whoa. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. How and that was, was she? Fun. She's, well, she's not, no. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even fully do that. She's not, she's fucking died yesterday. No. Uh, <laughs> shout out to wow. the Fallen, dude. Memorial Day. Shout out to the Fallen. Shout out to my mom. No, my mom's alive. Anyway. <laughs> I love that this won't even be released on Memorial Day, so people will be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I just like saying shout out to the fallen. Shout out to the yeah. fallen. It's it is a fun thing fallen. to say. Well, because yeah. it is what you should say, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, it sounds disrespectful, but it's not. <laughs> well, it's kind of like pour one out for the homie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, shout out to yeah. the fallen. Which is yeah. what you should do. Yeah. It is also a little bit the way you say, oh, shout out to the fallen, dude. <laughs> like, I like it because it's on the line. Because people who think I'm making fun of it, they're they're with me. And people who are like, no, yeah, for real, they're with me. You know, yeah. I like to true. ride that fence of Memorial. Day. I like to ride that <laughs> Memorial Day fence, dude. Jake Letizia will never take yeah. a stance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Speaking of which, let's take some hard ones. Though. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, yeah, my mom's alive. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so, like, what would you guys? Yeah, yeah what'd you talk like? How was her vibe on the podcast? Yeah. Well, me and my mom have like a fun dynamic. Uh, yeah. Because like I just say whatever to her. Yeah. And, uh, like, she's very religious as well. Oh. So we'll just, like, argue about religion. But, like, in a fun way. Like, it's never a... Uh... Wait, what religion? Is she a Muslim? She's Christian. My mom's... So my mom's complicated because she's a born-again Christian. Whoa. But she's not, like, a born... She's not the typical... When people hear born-again Christian, they're like, this person probably is fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. But my mom is not pushy at all with religion. And my mom's like very accepting. Oh, okay. So it's literally just like this is my thing. This is what I like. She's like in it my helped. Life and- it helped me after my dad died. That's how she is with yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but she's like, no one has to believe what I believe. Oh, that's the that's the only thing that matters. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So she's a, she's she's likes to uh, uh, present as the worst kind of person, but does, she acts like a fun person. <laughs> <laughs> does she does she like swear around you and like like talk about like like things you would assume someone who isn't a born again Christian like talks about? Uh, I guess I'll talk to her. Like I used to never swear in front of her, and then as I've gotten older, I've progressively said more curse words in front of her. Yeah, I won't say f- like "fuck." I try not to say in front of her. Okay, for some specific reason, but I'll yeah. say like "shit." Yeah. Does she also like? Use uh, words when we were kids, no? when we were kids, she would always try not to curse, but then she would eventually say "fuck" because she'd get angry. Mm. Yeah, and then she would blame us and go, "Look what you made me do." And then one day I said to her, she said "fuck," and I looked at her and I was like. Uh, 
I didn't. I go. How did I make you say a word? <laughs> and then she was like, "What?" I was like, "How did you said you said the word? That's on you." And then she never did it again. <laughs> wow, that's an incredible moment dude. when you stump a parent. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, I used to have a bit. Well, I still do it sometimes. A bit about uh, like changing my mom's opinion on uh, abortion. Oh Ooh. yeah, because she's pro-choice. Mm. She says she's pro-choice, but then when I ask her, I'm like, do you think people shouldn't get, be able to get abortions? She's like, no, they should. I'm like, so then you're... Oh, I said it wrong. She's pro-life. She's pro-life. Oh, okay, yeah, that's okay. what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's so confusing she's that I told you... But she thinks abortions she's are pro just She's pro-choice no as long fun. as you make the right choice. She's, yes. yeah, yeah. she's pro-choice, but she says pro-life. Okay. Because she's like, I don't want people to get abortions. I'm like, yeah, but you, do you think they should be able to? And she goes, Yes. And I was mm. like, so then you're pro-choice. She goes, well, I don't think that they should get them. I go, but you, you think that they should have the uh, choice? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> My theory on the world yeah. is that honestly, maybe most people are just like that. Like yeah. there's this like loud majority that's screaming all the time. But honestly, if you ask 80% of people, like, what do you think of trans people? They'll be like, I don't fucking care. Yeah, like, yeah. Either yeah. Way, just like, mostly, what, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. of like the, I think it's like, isn't it like 2% of people are on Twitter and like yes. the people that make the most posts is like only 20% of the users that are on Twitter. And so like when you see like discourse online, it's like such a warped sample size. Are you yes. saying Bean Dad wasn't was the say. world? <laughs> I'm saying he's our next guest. I'm saying <laughs> I he's the redemption. I'm leaving that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I would love for him to be the next guest. because Guess I'm, what? I'm, he's here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. It's Bean Dad. Yeah. <laughs> We were talking about being dead earlier and how much it pissed me off, dude. Yeah. Not for, uh, not for any reason that pissed other people off. Did you find it out from Twitter or did you find it from people talking about it? In in pandemic, uh, me and my friend started a Discord. Oh, it, yes. Like, okay. like a lot of people, I feel like. Mm. And, the, and they are all on Twitter and yeah. I am not. I just game with them. Yeah. So we're just gaming and they're like... You hear about Bean Dad, and I'm like, absolutely. Why would I have heard about that? And they and then they break it down for me, and I'm like, why do you care? Why are you talking about this to me? <laughs> That's very healthy. Yeah. That's a good mentality. Well, I'm just like, and then they also, dude. There was somebody who on Twitter she tweeted, uh, "Alien is not a horror movie." She okay. just tweeted that. <laughs> and it like melted my friend's brain. People can say anything. He was so mad. I was like. Why are you? That's just a crazy thing. That's just she just wants you to be mad. We're too yeah. free in this society. <laughs> We're too free. We should bring back the mines. You the, know the yeah. the of like the like coal mines. Yeah, I guess they are back. I mean, people are in them, just like not us. Yeah, people right never now. left those. That's wait, what? How yeah. classic! Wow, this is the should... most New York thing you've ever said. Okay, <laughs> bring back the mines. Oh, we... they're still going. Oh, <laughs> our... I didn't know. <laughs> we start an open mic in the mines. Who says no? The mind mic? Mind yeah. mic! That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Very marketable. Yeah. I'm sure the audience would be great. I'm sure dudes with pickaxes <laughs> yeah. and black gloves. We're already used to <laughs> love hearing our bits. <laughs> They're already used to unnatural light. Let's just yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. Like keep them down there. Let's blast some light in their face. <laughs> just, Actually, let's have them all face us with their light, with their helmet lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so great! It's a spotlight. Yeah, yeah. And that's you get the light. Yeah. So it's one of them just blinking it. Yeah, when one of them gets so pissed that they turn away from what they're hitting with the pickaxe. Yeah. Also, I don't know how mining works. I keep saying pit hitting something with the pickaxe. Like I, I feel no like you're thing. referencing like RuneScape. I am, dude. I'm referencing like Zoolander. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, the whole time we've talked about the mine, I'm pi I'm thinking of the scene in Zoolander. Yeah, and that's... Me too. And yeah. that's, fair. <laughs> that's why I said black lung. Yeah. I got the black lung, bro. <laughs> I am also thinking of Billy Elliot because there are, there are mines in that movie. Okay. Yeah, like that, like the like his whole family are miners. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They're all under eighteen. Yeah, they're even all, his parents. They're all oh, drinking they're, illegally. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. yeah. So he's but he's like twelve in that movie. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's so his crazy that, that they young. put him in those. So mines. he's a miner. He's a miner in the mine. Yeah. That's good. How many miner miners? In yeah, were in mines. No, they, they were. They called them mines. Yeah, yeah. they're like, actually hey, trying to all loosen. These kids. Let's name it after them. <laughs> It's kind of like how the Arctic is named after the bear. Is, is really? that true? Yeah. Well, Arctos is Greek for bear. So when we, when we say the Arctic, we're saying the land of polar bears. Oh. And it's called the Antarctic because it's the land opposite the land of the polar bears. Hell yeah. But not anymore, dude. Shout out to Global Heating. Hey. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> 
Now it's the land of the melt. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the land of the soup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the freaking turkey melt, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get your get your sandwich five dollars off at the Antarctica station. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're fucking, fucking unraveling, dude. <laughs> I'm spiraling. Dude, I had I a long a, night last night. I went to a spice store, a store that sells like lots of different spices. I yeah. got, I bought Antar. <laughs> get this Antarctic you sea explain, salt. Why did you explain spice store? I don't know. <laughs> We've seen you for pretty I've never been to one before. Damn, you think me and Gabby are dumb as hell, dude? <laughs> what? What would make you think that? That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pointing that out, I was gonna let him cook. <laughs> Literally think the word spice cl- store. We're place. clipping that. Do you know so the reason fast. why? I do actually have a reason. What? Because I went to a store once where the name was just Spice. Oh, and it was something else. It was like a thrift shop. Oh, really? Called Spice for some reason. Oh. Well, then it's on them, dude. They think they they yeah, made yeah, us. Yeah. They fucked they it made up. So you. I had that in my mind. I was like, oh, I should specify what you I didn't want to be dumb. Yes. Yeah. Damn. You didn't want you didn't want me to go. That's the thrift store. <laughs> I clearly know, bro. These are the only pants I own. I clearly know where the thrift store is. I know Spice in Williamsburg. I was saying before to the producer, I don't know. I don't know the difference between Williamsburg and Bushwick, and I'm there. Every Nor do day. I. Yeah, I don't fucking know either. I have no. They're clue. next to each other, aren't they? They're next to each other. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I think so, but I don't know when the crossover point is. No, I don't know. Yeah, I there think- needs to be a border. There needs to be. There needs to be a clear. There needs to be a wall. <laughs> That divides Bushwick Build and Williamsburg. And it's a wall. It needs Build to be manned. Wall. Yeah. You gonna man yeah. the wall? It needs to be manned. Hey, uh, yeah, it needs to be manned with guards. Oh, so we armed know. guards, yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people don't, Bushwick and Williamsburg, they don't like to mingle. No. no. Yeah. It's Same actually, yeah, the, the relations there are really, <laughs> Williamsburg's policies towards Bushwick are. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Can't get in the Different country. Different drug policies, them. everything fucking yeah. like. Like, yeah, you can't have Coke in Williamsburg. <laughs> Only in Bushwick. What do you think? What do you think is more Coke? I don't do coke, so what? <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I don't do coke so much that every time someone says they have coke, I'm like, <gasps> yeah, I, yeah, I do too. I'm like, oh, yeah. In my mind, I'm like, that's an '80s thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you said they're a bunch of oldies. Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, we're think, young. We're young. Guns. We're young. We're, we're me and him. Young. Dude. You, yeah. you guys are well. Yeah, I'm. I'm on the cusp of thirty. Are you really? Yeah, I'm 29. I'm not even close to 30, dude. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I just <laughs> turned 30. <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Oh God, happy yeah, birthday. I'm May yeah. 5th. Thank you. Thank how you. do you feel? Do you feel older and wiser? Uh, I feel uh, more okay with giving advice. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I used to, I used yeah. people used to like ask me for advice and I would give it, but I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I love about. that if your whole life, regardless of your age or, or seniority, People have asked you for advice. <laughs> well, I'm like, hey, this guy's this guy this guy's got it all together. <laughs> and I don't. So it's a bad judgment. So like, how long have people would you say this like even in childhood people are asking for your advice? I've always I've people have always thought I'm older than I am. Okay. Uh mm. like in my when I turned like uh twenty, people always thought I was like mid to late twenties. Wow. And then all throughout my uh early twenties, people would think I was like late twenties and then, but now as I've gotten older, people are like, they think I'm like in my late twenties or yeah. 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 I would have guessed you were around. I just turned 28. Yeah. And I would have guessed you were around just my age, late twenties. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing too, is that in your late twenties, like you start to cross over. People can look like anything in your late twenties. Well, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. You cross over into the, cause it's like, I think your twenties are the only time when people are really fixated on age. That's a good point. Like when I'm 32, no one's going to be like, no one's going to give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Like I hit 30 and, I, and now everyone's like, well, tell me when you're 40. Although someone at the party we were at uh, on Saturday, I was um, I was telling them about how sometimes growing up I would fall for straight women. And she went, that's like kind of more of a millennial thing. <laughs> so sometimes I do get dinged for Damn, being older. Dude. You got okay. dated right there. <laughs> I know, I got that's fucking like a hard move of you, dude. God, I, got, I got wrecked. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I got I got my ass wrecked. Gen Z is so they really know how to read. Gen, you know? yeah. Gen that never happens to Gen Z. That's what I'm saying. Well, they all think they never fall in love with straight people ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of Gen Z doesn't believe there's like a distinction, like everyone's on a spectrum, which. I, I think used to think was true, but then my best friend in the world is like actually 100% straight. And I'm like, how does this exist? And yes. then Lucas is- I'm like, your best friend in the world? My other best friend in the world. 
actually, wait, you're the second person I know who's like a hundred. I guess, are you like a hundred percent or like 99? Well, define a hundred. What is it? See, that's the thing. Everyone, like, there, I think there's a spectrum, but like, mm. what is a hundred percent straight? I don't see. I don't know. Zero interest. Zero yeah. interest in, in men or, or but like what's other interest, end. dude? Hey. People don't break it down enough. That's true. We got to get into the meaty. <laughs> we got to get into the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty of it all. I can't think how to break it down more than I'm just like, no, thank you. So if but there was a dick in front of you, you'd say, hello, sir, and leave. Yeah, well, I, well, I don't think I would. Yeah. Well, that's where it breaks down for me. Yeah. Is okay. the, the, the panache. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with a penis. <laughs> okay, well. But most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Even people who deal with penises, they don't want to deal too much with one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So wait, what? Okay, what gives you pause, though, in, the, in this question? If you're comfortable, to I've talk seen about handsome it. men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen handsome men as well. I mean, I, I've seen. I'm like, oh yeah, that guy is very handsome. But I've never thought I'm. I'm interested. I'm like, hey, whoa, hey. I guess so. Never yeah. had that. I'm like, oh yeah, he's he's a, he's a very attractive guy. I get it. I'm like, I, it's something I get more than I feel. Sure, sure. All of this to say, revolutionary, but like some people are straight, which is surprising, and I don't understand. I'm not. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I sleep platonically next to women. That's not, that's that's gay. That's gay. That's gay. Kevin as hell. What's up? Call me. <laughs> that's gay as hell, dude. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm excited to. Ev- uh, Claire and I are excited to eventually have you guys both on the the new mm. show. Oh, so we oh can yeah. Litig- we can litigate your sexualities. Oh, is that? Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's that's the show concept. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited about oh, it. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. This yeah. Is, I'm excited for this show so we're much. We're going to have like a, sti- I guess a little, we're doing promo now. I guess <laughs> When you first like pitched me the idea, I was like, <laughs> no, it felt a little edgelord at first, but we narrowed it down because now it's like a jury of like all queer comics who are just going to say like the most insane batshit stuff ever to okay. the comics who do their sets. And then we're going to have gri- not slurs. <laughs> We're gonna have Greg Nussbaum be a court stenographer. Um, That's so good. So like draw the events of the, of the That's thing. That's amazing. That's great. That's Lucas. Would fun. you do an all slurs show? <laughs> I actually say your favorite one right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh. <laughs> I get so nervous. <laughs> You looked for a second, like, there's this clip of Jimmy Fallon and RuPaul. <laughs> Have you guys seen this clip? Oh, I know this clip. I know this clip. So, yeah. it's like Jimmy Fallon and RuPaul, and they're doing an interview, and uh, Jimmy Fallon goes, RuPaul is a drag queen. And RuPaul and goes, goes, a drag queen! A drag queen! <laughs> and Jimmy Fallon is terrified. He, yeah. like, thinks his whole career is over, like, he, like, mislabeled oh, he freaks out. oh, I have seen this. <laughs> yeah, and RuPaul goes, I am the queen of drag! And Jimmy Fallon's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thousand yards there just like no. oh no yeah. god damn it I, I i will say early on in my comedy career i remember i was talking with chris sure because we were talking about uh flamethrowers which for those who don't know is like an all queer and, and female roast mic? battle yeah or roast ba- flamethrowers or oh fire no wait st- are you thinking of fire starters fire starters i got mixed up in my yeah. head i meant to say fire starters um it's an no, flamethrowers is a good roast battle very it's very, very great roast battle, battle show Plug. shout, shout out, out to Matt, them max and clara Indeed, but uh, Chris said, you could come, you're nice. <laughs> and, like, and I was like, okay, I would do it, but it would it be funny if like everyone else just like was able to shout any slur they wanted at me, even though it didn't apply to me. I was like, oh, just sure. as like, just as like a funny extra bit for having like a straight guy on. Well, I, I am wondering, like this has made me think, is there, is there a straight slur, is there a slur for straight people? Um, ooh, should we make Lucas. one up? Luke, the Luke, such a Lucas just keep right saying now. your name. <laughs> yeah. Lucas! Lucas! <laughs> you're on stage, they're like, Lucas, you're like, what? Lucas! Such a fucking Lucas! Lucas. Such what? a Lucas. Get dude. off the stage, Lucas! You're I'm like, that is Lucas. accurate. That's my name. I was gonna say about, oh, I had a funny story about the first um, mic I ever went to was also like a queer mic. And I used to go every week. There was a guy who always went up at the end because uh, one of the hosts was sleeping with him, and his name was Shabbat Man. <laughs> that was his Shabbat stage name. Man. I don't know if that was his birth name. He, he was this. Um, he was this really weird dude. He would use his own mic, like he before COVID. He would like switch that's out the mic. Okay, okay. That's uh, in retrospect. That's a good. That's a good guy. In yeah. retro, oh, he maybe he knew, but he would just go up and <laughs> be maybe like, he started it. <laughs> 
He goes, I'm just be like, I am the all. Hebrew hammer. <laughs> da, 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 Shabbat, man. He and Shabbat he would... his own mic ages ago. Ooh. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. <laughs> it was so stupid. No one knew what was happening. He'd do it for like five minutes and then he would leave and then he would come back the next week and do the same thing. I actually wonder where Shabbat Man is. Now. I love I love guys like that. I yeah. love yeah. in comedy like the the freaks. You know, he's like a he's someone who's like a mascot of the Michael. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone remembers him. Everyone. I mean, he's more known than a, most people, probably. Yeah, that's true. Most people that go through that place, he's known more than most of them. Wow. Good yeah. for him. It's like it's like I think about that with like the Doctor Zizmore ads on the old subway trains. You remember? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Doctor Zizmore. People know Did those you? guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah. you know Doctor Zizmore? Doctor Ziz, I remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. With the with the uh, with the acne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where he removed. He, did, acne. he was like yeah. a dermatologist who was yeah. like famous for his ads on the subway. Oh really? Yeah, yeah I gotta find it. I remember yeah. the lawyers, and the one of them died. Yes, Salino and Barnes. Selino yeah, and Selino Barnes. Barnes. And then, like, the one who died's brother started his own firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's, like, Salino and Barnes now, but they're separate, and I they're not Barnes the original. I thought Barnes died. I don't remember which one it was. Let's argue about it for a long time. Yeah, let's... <laughs> I think you're right, it is um. Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> we will not bring up a new topic the entire podcast. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do with uh, couples that have been together for a long time. Yeah. It's like, if you're around them and they're in one of those... Like, they'll start... Like, like my brother and his wife, if this... If you guys were them, they would, they would just start arguing about that. Like, who's the real one who died? Yeah. And then in the middle, I would just go, you guys have been together a long time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and every time it breaks, the, the couple just stops and they're like, they laugh and they're like, oh yeah, that was dumb. That's that was of, the dumbest thing beautiful. we've ever done. <laughs> that is that is a beautiful way to diffuse the situation where you just acknowledge how long they've been together. Well, someone's got to do it because I don't want to hear it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, it's a little selfish, but it, I guess it is, yeah. I don't, I just like. You express it well though. I miss that though. Yeah. Like that is a part like of arguing in a couple of relationship, uh, it, like that sort of aspect of a relationship. That's like, that's like a, uh, uh, what's it called? That's like a, a, a goal. Like yeah. when people talk about relationship goals, which I don't like when people say that, but that is, that is the goal is to mm. get to the point where you're together so long. They argue about dumb shit like that. I think that is a beautiful thing. I would love to know what else, uh, is like a goal for you in a in a relationship somewhere you go oh that aspect that sort of behavior that's like exactly what I'm looking for. Um, a goal, hmm. like something I want, something I yeah, want out yeah. of a person, a feature of a relationship, a sort of dynamic maybe that you like. Uh, I don't know. I just I like when people uh, can joke around. Yeah. 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 That's a simple one, dude. Yeah. No, it, it's simple, but it is important. People who, uh, well, I do a thing. Do you guys do this? I do a thing that where like the moment I start to like someone, I I do two things. One, if it's going well, I'll if someone asks like, what do you like? How's it going with her? I'm like, she fucking sucks. One time I did that, my friend, if I'm like, oh, it's going good. I don't like the person that much. Like I'm convincing myself. Oh, mm. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah I, yeah, yeah, I actually I do that for sure. I'm yeah. like, oh, this will never pan out. Yeah, she's <laughs> literally the worst. And then to the point where my friend one time I said, oh, she's fucking terrible. He goes, you like her? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. And then also I try the moment I start to like somebody, I try I just start being really annoying. Yeah, no. I do that. Yeah, I think everyone does, everyone does you're that, right? Because you trying extra hard to like, you well, what, what kind of annoying? You want to get under their skin a little bit. I love being yeah. a pest to people I really like. Yeah, subconsciously yes. you're like, I want to know that uh, that no matter how annoying I can get, because I can get pretty annoying. Yeah. You uh, you like laugh. You think it's funny or you're like, I don't care. This is fine. This is yeah. very smart. Yeah, I also yeah. like knowing that I can bother someone. I'm like, you do care. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Well, also, I feel like part of flirting is just kind of bothering someone. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah. You're trying you're just, to say yeah. the thing that's going to stick in their mind. Yeah, which like sometimes is something really accidentally eviscerating. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. nothing better when someone like starts laughing, but then they just go "fuck you." Yeah, that's, yeah, that's 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 like that's real love right there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And it's also like riding the way. What? It's hard to. One of the most fun parts is like finding the joke. Mm. Like when you first start flirting with someone, there's like a some stupid fucking inside joke. Yeah. yeah. That isn't funny. But <laughs> yes. but it, but it's is to you two. Yeah. And then finding the like wave of like when do you keep using that and when do you don't? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. but do you ever save it like months down the line and then you just drop a reference to it? Yes, that's a smart That's move. that is something I love. 
Yeah. Sometimes I love I biding my time. I love yeah. I love letting it marinate. It That's like you play move. a longer game than either of us because I've never I've I never waited like it. on something for five seconds. Yeah, so. I, dr- I drive it into the ground. Dude. Yeah. I I, I uh, what's that? Well, my friend was telling me uh, what's his name? Um, who's the guy who OD'd on heroin? <laughs> Great actor OD'd on heroin. Oh, he Philip Hunter. Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, Sad that there are multi. It's like it's like there's an epidemic. I know. I know. R.I.P. Uh, Michael K. Williams, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Honestly, racist that you said the white guy first. Fuck you. Yeah, no. super racist <laughs> of you. <laughs> Two white people yeah. telling Lucas he's yeah. so racist. You're so racist. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Such a yeah. Lucas. Yeah. Hey, hey white power. Anyway, <laughs> anyway go Say on. Say your favorite. No. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, he <laughs> said, uh, "I've never. Uh, there's no indulgence I haven't made myself sick on." Mm. Ah, and yes. And I feel that way with like uh, people sometimes. <laughs> I like like to like find out a lot about someone quick to like find out yes. if it's good. I'm exactly the same. Yeah. You want to like get everything out in the open as quickly as possible yeah, so you yeah. can figure out is this the right sort of person for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's just really smart. Yeah. Would you yeah. say women are your heroine? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because if I said that, I would kill myself. Because there's an epidemic of women. I don't know if you know this. Oh, this believe epidemic. me, <laughs> believe me. I there's know. A, there's too many of, women. Too dude. many. Oh it's my too many. god. In tw- in Twilight, there's a great line. There's Greatest. a woman in Twilight. <laughs> there is a woman, and she says to the vampire, "You're my own personal brand of heroin." Oh really? Fourteen year old me wrecked <laughs> by that line forever. Oh. So in retrospect, so toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how did he respond? Was he like? Oh. <laughs> well, he was like a 117 year old vampire in a 17 year old's body, so he was sure. like, "Okay, you know." He <laughs> like, <laughs> He's like, "This is such a me thing." Guy, he was like, "Well, you know, I'm I'm dating this human woman. I guess I better buck up and do whatever she says." <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have you ever been made to watch the Twilight movies? Uh, I guess so. In high school, I don't know if I yeah. guess I was. I was like, I'll watch. I saw them in theaters with. Mm. There you go. I saw the l- l- the second to last one in theaters. Okay. What'd you with think? My girlfriend at the time. Uh, I like th- laughed the whole time. Yeah, it's really funny. And made funny. fun of it. <laughs> well, this happened twice with me. This also happened with the Hunger Games years later. Oh yeah. I was dating someone and we watched the Hunger Games, the last one, and I laughed the whole time and made fun of it. And both times, my girlfriends at the time were like. Oh yeah, that movie sucked. They like th- also were laughing. Yeah, and then both of them years later were like, oh, "I watched that movie again. I actually liked it. I think you just made me think it was bad." Ooh, interesting. Okay, tell me what you think about this. I think that maybe about talking about like how good of a boyfriend you were, how charismatic you were, that like your point of view was oh, such. Oh, way to put a spin yeah, on it. Yeah, I was it. gonna say it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, he was being a dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they didn't say it like. Uh, Maybe it it was they didn't say it like uh, maybe they liked you so much they like they willed themselves to agree with it in a a way they didn't even realize is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I do think it was somewhere in the middle. I don't think it was totally. I think I think they were just like, oh, it was like I I was very passionate about how dumb it was. Yeah. So it made them think it was dumb and laugh at it. To be fair, Twilight is dumb but glorious. Yeah. Hunger Games movies I thought were kind of good. They kind of slapped. They were they were okay, yeah. yeah. I only saw the first one. I haven't seen the others. The first one, the first if one you is only good. saw the last one, then it's terrible. Because I think the last one's dip in quality. Because they're just trying is to turn them out. Dawn yeah, but I hated the first one. Yeah, The, the, the first Hunger Games I hated. F- dude. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because... Here's the thing, too, though. I, like, I'll, I'll click into certain things, and I'm very, like... <laughs> keyed into it yeah. yeah so I feel like if you're around me at the time it's probably hard to like go against it sure okay also I think I'm, I'm passionate in a way that people think I'm gonna get mad if they disagree but I, I are you a Scorpio no I'm a Taurus oh interesting but I like like one time hell yeah I, brother Taurus moon Taurus rising gang. Yeah, whatever dude. <laughs> <laughs> like one time I, I was talking about Gemini yeah but uh, Gemini sun but Taurus moon and Taurus rising oh you get real deep with it well, I, I got deep because like a friend of mine did my birth chart and said, oh, you're more of a Taurus then because oh. I did your chart. And I was like, okay, good to know. Kind of makes sense. Actually. Interesting. Really? Yeah. Why do you, why do you say that? I have, because you when think you, I'm a grounded boy? Because when you say that, no matter what it, it like says about the person, the other person will be like, what's that mean? And I will never take away the joy from myself of saying that. 
Like when when some when I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense about someone's astrological sign. They like freak out, and it makes me laugh every time. Oh, you just <laughs> lying about it, yeah. 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 Well, I thought like you gotta, especially when you know all of the upward and downward and falling and rising yeah. and all that. Upward and downward, <laughs> the sideways, the yeah. fucking. Uh... When you know like the what the wolf says and all that, <laughs> uh, I feel like yeah, you can't. You have to like discuss it for a long time to actually know what it means. Yeah, you have to be like, this is what. It There's also applies to anything you say applies to everyone. Sure. It really I just does. know one time I got high and read an astrology book and I read my description. And I read the descriptions of all my friends. I was like, this is all pretty accurate. But also. You were high. I was super high. Yeah. And I was probably looking to find myself, you know. Yeah. I, that's, dude, I don't believe in astrology, but no matter what, no matter what, when I like someone and I find out what they are, I go on Google and I look up compatibility. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I don't this follow is, it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it says we're not compatible, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> but if it what? says we are, I'm like, oh. Oh, are you looking for just, like, an extra bit of support? I'm looking for a little bit of, like, oh, no, it makes it. We're vibing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are nice. there any signs you find yourself particularly going for? Or do you forget? Uh, Like, things I like? No, like, No, um, like, signs to date. Oh, like no. <laughs> I thought you meant like signs no, of a good like time. No, not like red flag. Not like red. Yeah. Although you could talk about that. But is there anyone you're like, yeah, I can't stop with those Virgos, you know? Well, I think part of the reason why I look it up is because I can't remember what any of them are. Yeah. yeah. Like okay, I have okay. no idea what any of them are off the top of my head. Like when people go, oh, well, like when you said, oh, you're a Scorpio. I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best way to remember is to log everyone you've ever slept with and then remember when their birthdays are. And like you'll find most of them all have like similar... Not all, maybe, but like, some, <laughs> okay. Damn, you're a spreadsheet person, huh? You, you put, you put well, them into my, a spreadsheet. It's my Virgo moon. Oh, your Virgo moon. Oh, <laughs> you, you play me on astrology. Well, I put all Hold the up. people I fucked into a spreadsheet because I am. Uh, you know the, stars. the birthdays of everyone you've ever dated? Not like the exact birthdays, but birth month, and then you know what their sign is based on the birth month. I mean, I know like the birthdays of people that I was like very serious with, but not everyone I've dated. Generally, I feel like when I get to know someone well, I want to know when their birthday is, probably because I want to know their sign. But also, I think birthdays are fun. Not for me. I hate my own birthday, but other people's birthdays are fun. You just had your birthday. Yeah, I did. I'm still thinking of the perfect gift for you. <laughs> I'm really bad at giving gifts, but like what, what I like is to get a gift that's perfect. Yeah. And sometimes I'm just like late because it takes me too long to think of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I do, it, I do. I do. No, yeah, I don't. I do, I'm not a big gift giving is not a love language for me. Sure. And so I push myself to get gifts for other people because I know it matters more to other people. But I truly am so okay without any gifts. Yeah, yeah. I really am not. Yeah, I'm much more into something like experiential. I want to get together with everyone that I love. Yeah, yeah. Get like get some pizza, get some drinks or something like that. Or like or maybe go to like a fun place. If someone once got me a coupon for a massage and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. That's a great gift. That is what a is gift. a good gift for you? I got uh I got a uh a portable charger. That's good. For one of my friends. Uh one of my platonic sleeping in the bed friends. <laughs> Uh, she got me a portable charger because uh, I always uh, come into the bar she works at and go, can you charge my phone? (laughs) So she was like, you should get a, here's a portable charger. But what she said to me didn't make any fucking sense. She goes, this is, here's a portable charger because you always, Mm -hmm. haha, you always needed to, and I was like, oh, cool. Also, I don't know how much they cost. That's why I always never bought one because I'm Mm -hmm. like, someone told me they were 300 bucks. I don't think that's true, but I was like, I'm not buying one now. You can buy one for like $30. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so so she said to me, oh, here's the gift. Uh, but you can't use it in the bar. And I was like, what does that mean? Oh, you know why? Because she can still charge your phone at the bar. You use it for when your phone's about to die. Yeah, but the, 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 like, the, like, the like thought, I feel like the thought behind it was like, well, that means you still got to come into the bar. But I'm like, I have the thing. I, feel like she's, <laughs> yeah. she's I don't need to go into the bar. Three. I'm not getting drinks anymore. <laughs> yeah. I have the battery. We're done. I kind of was like, this is going to save me a lot of money and not give you a lot of tips. Like, I'm, uh, I'm going to the bar less with this. You wrecked your own business with your kindness. Yeah, and I was like, you're a really good friend. <laughs> <laughs> You're more of a friend than I am a patron. You're a terrible <laughs> businesswoman. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, 
And when that bar closes down because you're not in there anymore, she'll be like, what a bad gift. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one keeping it open. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm that there. much of an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That is, a, that is a good gift, though. That is yeah. a good gift, yeah. Do you, it's do practical. You, yeah. Are you a difficult person to get a gift for Are otherwise? you a difficult person? Are you? Yeah. Are you difficult? Do you make life difficult for other people? I make life... I feel like I don't, if I'm being for real. You're, you're very laid back, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. You I, seem like a very go-with-the-flow guy. I am very good with the flow, but that has its that has its uh, down down disadvantage. Down to the ups and the downs. <laughs> <laughs> the down. Why don't you have me on this? I don't know the English language. <laughs> um, we're we're trying to get more representation for our Italian viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, trying yeah. to have the dumbest Italians on <laughs> to show what they're like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they can fall on their own sword. It yeah. has its detriments being nice. You, you yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. like. Um, when you're very go with the flow, there are certain things that bother you, but like you don't care. But yes. you're like, yeah, I wish I cared more to be like. What's an example of something that bothers you, but you don't really do much about it? Uh, like people, like she- like sometimes like I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I like I don't talk to people sometimes because I'm like, ah, I don't want to bother them with that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and that's kind of. I thought your problem was that you're really racist, so you like don't want to see. Well, other I don't see that as a problem. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a problem. Well, and also, like, I'm a t- Italian. I have this part of the Italian. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you, you're like the reason why I put everyone I fucked into an Excel sheet is because of stars. Yeah. I'm like every bad thought I ever had because of my <laughs> father. Yeah, my father. <laughs> Do you? Were you? What was your reaction when um, Andrew Cuomo got like accused of sexual assault? He was like, "But I'm Italian." Do you remember that? Uh, oh, yeah. To me, the most Italian thing he said was, he goes, uh, was when the woman uh, accusing him was like, uh, oh, he said he could be a mentor to me. And I was like, that's for sure happened. That's the most like weird Italian uncle, like, don't, I'm going to mentor you. <laughs> 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 it really just means you're not, you're going to be a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's yeah. that's no, you I'm, see- I'm rubbing your back because I'm your mentor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're Wait. figuring out life right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's how that's how uncles out. like a marionette. Yeah. <laughs> uncles will massage you out of yes, nowhere. Yes, they do. We're back yeah, to yeah. uncles. That's We're great. back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And no. the, and that uncle Andrew Cuomo being an uncle to her, he kissed her neck in a bad way. You're he right. kissed for sure. Her neck for in a sure. Bad she did never. not like it. Did you did you think that he had pierced nipples? Because there was I a, did. I thought he had pierced nipples. Yeah, for sure. I he still pierced. think he does. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. I mean, he. I, the most surprising thing to me, pleasantly surprising thing to me, was. Uh, when that happened with Cuomo, my dad was like, that guy's a fucking idiot. Like, my dad didn't like him. But your dad's come around on a lot of things, according to your stand-up. He has come around on a lot of things, yeah. 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 But, yeah. What but was, he's, you know, he's what not was your relationship to him, like, when you were growing up? My dad? Yeah. Uh, my dad, uh, well, it was, I was, like, good. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's a guy who's, like, uh, in a very Italian way. Like, he'll, like he expresses love sometimes. Mm. But, like, sometimes you don't know. Mm. Like, he'll be like, I love you so much. But then he'll, like, yell at you in a way where you're like, I don't know if this is true. Yeah. <laughs> you seem real. You seem like you don't like me right now. Is he, like, all, like from Italy? Yeah, he's, yeah, he, he's from okay. Naples. He came here when he was eight. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. His whole family lived in Italy, and they all came over slowly. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Do you, did Not you, like person by person, just like a real, just a yeah, long just real walk. slow. It took a long time. It's a long trip. We're yeah, he walked it. That's how you know the Earth is flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He walking walked distance. It. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's like Jesus in that way. That's true. He walked across the ocean. He walked on yeah, water. Jesus was Italian. My mom's born again Christian. She married the first guy who walked on water. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always I like your life. bits about your dad, though. I feel like they're very honest. Yeah. Well, well are yeah. you fucking me? <laughs> That's one of my favorite bits. <laughs> well, he... he uh, no, yeah, I, I, had a good, I had a good relationship with my dad. My dad never, like... Uh, like, I guess he was a little uh, shitty with how he talked to us sometimes. But, like, yeah. he never was, like, physically abusive. It's so funny. I, I always think about that. I was trying to do a bit about that of, like, it's just funny how... I'm always like, oh, my dad was never physically abused. Like, that. I feel like that's always a barometer. My dad never hit me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, well, I'm But like, it felt like he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to say that. So I used to say my dad never, never, I just like would, as a joke, I used to say to people, uh, my dad never hit me, but he's, you know, he's an aggressive Italian guy. So like, it felt like, it felt like it was there. Like yeah. he talked with you with the force of a punch, you know? 
Well, yeah. when people ask me how I got into roasting, I'm always like, my mother is a god tier shit talker. Yeah, yeah. And I learned every th- mean thought I've ever had. Wow. From her, but in a way where like she's like a therapist, so she's compassionate, and she can see people's like wounds. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm. So she's always like. Here's the line, <laughs> you know? She knows, she knows the things she could say. A little bit, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. sometimes she says things she can't say, but, like, honestly, I think what, what was most interesting to me growing up is, like, if I had a problem with, like, some kid at school, she would just, like, talk shit on their mother for, like, 30 minutes. Maybe, like, don't worry, their home life is terrible. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's how I got into being, like, okay, yeah, this is, like, Shit talking is a matrix. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It's, it's not just... So in that way, it's like, sometimes, yeah, I would have rather been hit than like red to filth. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Did you, did you, do you guys do that? I do that. Because it sounds like your mom, like, she was, she would wait for the moment. Like, she had it locked and loaded. A little With bit, the yeah. the moment to like, to like shit talk to you? Or? Yeah, well, if she was saying something about me personally, to me, then she like had it locked and loaded. But also, like, she just had thoughts in her head about everyone. So yes. if I was like, this mm. person's being a bitch, she's like, thank God you brought oh, this up. Oh, ready to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay. ready That's to go. Different. Yeah. That's a little different. Yeah. Wow, our moms are so different. <laughs> yeah. What's your mom? Well, your like? mom's polite. My mom. I mean, my mom's polite, too. My like, mom is your like. Your mom's British. Yeah, my mom is <laughs> like, a, it's a different level of polite where they will get furious with you, but in a very quiet way. If uh. you say anything, like, too much of, like, what you actually think. Uh. Someone, they'll be like, how dare you say that i cannot believe that you said that what in the i don't i don't understand how you uh, like i don't know where i went wrong yeah yeah, yeah. it's like it's very much <laughs> like, like, she, like she failed yeah because oh. you would go there i don't know where i went wrong it was like so brutal you yeah know? Oh. i heard that a lot <laughs> really <laughs> yeah i heard Damn, that a lot well, at least she didn't hit you yeah that's true but it felt like she <laughs> <laughs> my mom would hit us really? really but it was never like it was always out of desperation yeah. So mm. it never felt like my mom had like three boys and like she would chase us around with like yeah. a My mom w- had one boy, but if she if she made it sound like she had three. <laughs> <laughs> she would get worked up and then yeah. she would like get, get out the wooden spoon and like try and hit us oh, with the it. wooden yeah. spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know the wooden spoon? I know of it from the from other Italians I know who are like, Yeah, we got hit with a wooden spoon. Yeah. <laughs> very Italian move, my very mom. Italian thing. My mom's not Italian though. Yeah. Really? My mom, I'm only half Italian. <gasps> oh my God. You I know. fraud. I'm only oh half God. Jewish. Really? We're on my mother's side, so it's full Jewish. Well, that's, I mean, uh, yeah. That's how I, I feel. That's not a rule for Italian people, but it is. But I it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Being Italian is patrilineal. Is, is, it, is it not a thing about like in the Italian culture if like both of your parents are Italian versus one? Uh, some sometimes people will get like, oh, yeah. you're only fifty percent. But then I'm always like, well, my dad is f- from Italy, yeah. yeah. So I just right. am Italian. Yeah, but people yeah, meet yeah. my dad and they're like, you're Italian. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And my mom is like, she's Scottish and Norwegian, so it's like, there's no real culture there. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, no real kilts? stamp. Yeah. You know? huh? No kilts. No kilts. No. Uh, and they've been in America for a long time. Her family, like a lot of generations. I thought you were talking about. I don't kilts. know. <laughs> Kilts have been in America for a long time. Oh, yeah, dude. You can wear them. You can get a kilt. You should get a kilt. If you, if you go to Spice, the food <laughs> shop. <laughs> I got to go to Spice. <laughs> the spice oh, yeah. shop. Oh, my God. I don't know how long my... I think my my grandpa was like a seaman. Oh. Uh, well, we all were. <laughs> we all are at one point. Hey, yo. But he... Uh, and I think that's how... So he might be from Norway. And then that's, I think that's how, that's how we met my grandma. He like came... He like docked. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this all sounds very <laughs> with <special>. a bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was Fleet Week or what. Shout out to Fleet Week. That's this that Fleet was this week. week. Shout out. I saw a bunch of drunken sailors who were trying to get laid. I hope they did. They probably yep. didn't. Actually, I don't hope they did. Was Actually, it, I saw all of them. I said I hope they don't fuck. That's was it my you honest truth. Who were, you were like they were just on a boat. <laughs> yeah. It was and that's <laughs> how they fucked, dude. Yeah. Is that's the first thought? They were on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> they deserve this. <laughs> I did feel, I, I felt like a little bad for the, yeah, we were in an Uber back from uh, Saturday and we were like, like I like saw these soldiers walk by and I just, I felt so, Fleet Week soldiers sometimes they're like too aggressive and they're trying to reenact the photo, of but course, then I'm like, of they were just on a boat. Yeah. They don't know better. 
They're in. The- <laughs> you were giving. You were like. You were giving them excuses. Yeah. It's okay. They don't know. They don't. They only yeah. know the language of whales and yeah, dolphins. Yeah. They're not adjusted to society. That's their neighbors. Their no. neighbors are whales. They're like they're the ultimate out of towners, where they're away from every town. Yeah, yeah. And then they come to New York City. Of course, you're gonna be cheesy as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for them. Where, where the whatever I see, I'm like, listen, it's 2023, bro. <laughs> <laughs> where is the group of women sailors? Ooh. On Flea Week. <laughs> I, I would date a woman sailor. Dude. Right here. <laughs> no, I think I, I would also are. date a woman sailor. Yeah. I would. How yeah. come they don't travel in flocks like them dudes? <laughs> What's going on, dude? Do you think there's like one just woman sailor? Just out in the town looking for guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think like the one woman sailor just hangs out in her hotel and it's just like, fuck. She's this. like, woo. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. On land. <laughs> I would. Maybe. I, I would assume every once in a while there's like one or two women in the flock of dudes. That's what I would assume. But I've never yeah. seen it. I wonder if we could Google like do women sailors on Exist? fleet weekends. <laughs> <laughs> really do they, do they fleet? Do, do women be sailing? Do, do they be sailing? Do they be, be sailing? When they're not shopping, they be sailing. Mm. I'm also, I mean, I'm also talking about this as if like I'm trying to scope. I'm like w- traveling like with them to see how many there are. <laughs> yeah. I just saw one group the other night, and it's <laughs> yeah. just like, yeah, where's the where are there women? That, <laughs> the ones I've, I've never seen. I mean, I, I've seen like maybe one or two in general. Yeah, like a, a woman sailor. You're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they have like a slightly different hat. Yeah, That's how you know. <laughs> Do they have slightly different hats? They have a slightly different hat. A woman sailor is called a hi ho. <laughs> so I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving that's this so room, <laughs> dude. That's that would be my that would be your opening line. Yeah. Interestingly, hey, are you called? I go, I are go you right called that's a what a woman minor would say. Hi ho, hi ho. It's, it's off to work we go. go. Once again, you're thinking of. <laughs> Fucking the dwarves, in the but they're miners. <laughs> oh, they—they really? go into the mine. That's what oh, they have really? all those diamonds. Don't you remember? That's the first when they're singing. Hi ho! They're coming home from the mine back to their house. I did always oh, wonder wow. what the hell their relationship was to Snow White. I mean, I know she fucked all of them. Like that's clear. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. But what I don't understand she got is like out. where <laughs> they were. <laughs> she got banged out. <laughs> she got cracked up. That's, that's, why, that's why. That's why she was cursed. That's why they cursed her. They were slut shaming her. Yeah. <laughs> Because she was a hua. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand the dwarves' relationship to the local economy. That's what I don't get. I don't think they understand it. No, I don't. <laughs> they don't pay taxes. Yeah, yeah. I think they're just chipping away. They're tax dodgers. They read <laughs> the art of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> How are they eating? They find well, it in they the woods. They have mouths. Which is the one where <laughs> No, but which is the one where they're like chilling with all the animals? Is that that one? That's um. Yeah. Oh, Cinder- no, Cinderella. Also, she chills with animals. No, Snow White fucks with animals. She though. fucks she, with animals. She fucks hard with animals. Yeah. If you had that power, you, you. I mean, I guess we're off screen. She's like killing a couple of them, right? If they're flocking you Just every to pass day, the time. yeah, <laughs> I'd kill a deer. Yeah, you got to eat. <laughs> She's well, killing those deer. I do wonder, like, are there restaurants in the Snow White town? Like, what? That is a, that what is, is the question? Are there like sommeliers? Like, what's happening? What year is it? In <laughs> 1941. There were no restaurants back then. <laughs> the beginning of World War II. No, it, it came out in like the 30s, I think. Didn't it? Let okay. me look. The 1930s? Wait, but yeah, I don't good care time. when it was recorded. <laughs> yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> but when was, what was the time period in Snow when White? In Snow White, I don't actually, that is a very good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it premiered in Hollywood in 1937, but there I don't go. care. I think also my Google search being when was Snow White probably wasn't great. Sure. Yeah. Why? Who did she have sex with the first of the doors? Ooh. Dummy mm. or Goofy? What's, what's, what's your name? guess? I hope she fucked Doc. I like <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Wait, so what are all the dwarves? Angry, dummy. mopey, dummy. <laughs> Um, okay, wait, there's fuckheads. Uh, sleepy. <laughs> fuck sleepy. Oh, Sleepy's the dumb, is what I'm thinking of. Fuckhead. Fuck fuckhead. <laughs> dipshit. Dipshit. Dumbass. Queezone. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> there's just one named Todd. Todd, yeah. yeah. Just one Todd. Yeah. And she does that fuck it. Ira. That's, that's what happened. That's how they got their names. Is she fucked them, and then during Pillow Talk, she's like, you're sleepy. Yeah. You're so Bashful dopey. Bashful is one. Ba- is that Bashful? true? Bashful is, is the name of one of them. Wow. So that he fucks good. <laughs> yeah, he do. <laughs> he fucks well, dude. That's how we got the name Bashful. Yeah. They all be Bashful when they leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are the other ones? Okay, wait, there's Doc, Happy, Sleepy, Bashful. 
Um, dopey? Is He's there a dopey? Dopey. Up? That's that's the one I'm thinking with dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dopey. <laughs> Dumb fuck. So uh, <laughs> grumpy is or angry? There's one that's just angry. Oh, grumpy. I think it is grumpy. Grumpy sounds. Yeah. yeah. Grumpy sounds right. Then there's grumpy the is so one. funny during pillow talk. Like, why are you so grumpy? Yeah. <laughs> that's literally what happened. Yeah, you were the there. War. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have sex not with the war. <laughs> well, I am grumpy, dude. That's me. Yeah, are you a grumpy I'm, guy? I'm that dwarf. I don't think you're a grumpy guy. No, no, no. no. I was saying I was grumpy from. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. you played grumpy. I'm just him, you know. I don't oh. know. You're it was, just it was, him. It was, it was, it was a nonsense it. statement. I thought. Like, <laughs> 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 it's like our dipshit. <laughs> I'm dummy, dude. <laughs> You're <a> dummy. <laughs> I'm d- that's why I keep saying dummy. I want there to be. Well, I like yeah. that we were fucking around with the names, but you were serious when you were like, but, but what's that one? Dummy, right? <laughs> like, that's true. <laughs> I just want one You're to right. be, yeah. Don't be dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be dummy. <laughs> Slappy. 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 <laughs> Get slapped in the head. You're just like, hey, this is what we do. Spanky's yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> Spanky's always here, baby. So she probably fucked all of them and then was killing probably. animals. Probably. What else? She was, was definitely her, killing animals. What else was her life like? Well, now I have to. We've not in. We've not explored this as a yeah. society. I think that wasn't. The, I think the the origin of the story was based on a woman who. Um, a what? It was. Uh, get this. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, they're allowed. Um, I think it was based Some on. Some of them are sailors. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was based on a prostitute. Who wore like a a, a, a rose? She oh, wore a sweet. white rose every day of the month, except for five days of the month when she was on her period. And then she We're wore a red the same rose. Expression. So we nailed it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And and like crushed it. A group of guys clubbed together because uh, they couldn't afford her prices on their own. So they got so they lived with her, and they all are got those like a the dresser. seven dwarves. I think that's based where it's based is on. Is sure you making Seven this up? guys. Uh, that's one hundred percent real. This sounds fake. <laughs> Google it. Google it on your phone right now. Here's the thing. You're a guy. I feel like you're a guy who knows things. Yeah. So at any point, you could just make something up, and I'd be like, I mean, this sounds right. Wait, you literally have a bit about making something up for your dad. I do, actually. I. <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> he made up that Alfred Hitchcock was Jewish. Yeah, oh, I really? Did. No, yeah. I, um, uh, oh, maybe I was, okay. May not have been true. Oh, my God. But it's true. Let's but just it, it's no, true. but that did is a thing that happened. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I made the mistake of connecting <laughs> them. That is a thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Wait, let me tell That's you. That's just a thing I know. <laughs> it's That's just, just a gal I know. Why. She's a good gal. It's the kind of shit I read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's... What's okay, the Alfred Hitchcock thing. I um, when I was a kid, yeah. like eleven or twelve, I went up to my dad and I was like, "Hey, dad, did you know that Alfred Hitchcock was Jewish?" And my dad was like, "No, he's not." I was like, "Yeah, he is." He was like. What are you talking about? And then I was like, well, his parents were Russian Jews that escaped the Cossacks in Russia and moved to England. And they changed their family name from Isaac or Yitzchak yeah. to Hitchcock. Yeah, yeah. And then my dad was like, holy shit, is that real? And I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing to learn, though, that you can just I, like lie yeah. and it works. I know how to create a good backstory. Yeah. This is not good for me to put out. No, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm a... But are you, are you a liar? Is, I'm not. I I have lied. I've done. I've done impressive lies. Yeah, but yeah, it's a fun thing to do, especially to a parent. Yes, and you can really. Con- Once I figured out that I could really convince my dad of shit and create a good, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this a lot. Well, I think that's a. I think that I think that's like a comedian thing. It's like when you're younger, yeah. you lie, you make shit up to see. I I told a girl that I was blind in my right eye <laughs> in middle school, and I had this whole story because my dad's a butcher, and I had this whole story. <laughs> That I was like at the butcher shop and I was like behind the butcher block because my dad, my dad was like having a stressful day and then my mom, I, like I I was sick so but I couldn't stay at home because my mom had to work so then she took she my dad took me to the butcher shop and then he, I had to be behind the block and then I accidentally got stabbed in the eye. That's an incredible story with no logistical support. For no, him. no, none of it makes sense. You would see a wound in the eye if that happened. Whatever. We were like in seventh grade. Did she believe you? Yeah, she believed me. <laughs> That's awesome. And then, I fr- and then, and then I told her that, like on AIM or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I convinced her on AIM, and then, uh, and then, like two months later, she started dating my friend, and uh, she just like messaged me and was like, "Hey." You're not blind in your right eye. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not. And then she was like, you told me you were. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I made that up. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh my god, that's <sighs> iconic. So I also one day. Why are you being weird about it? <laughs> I was on chat one day with a friend, uh, on like Xbox chat, and we. I just was like, "Yo, do you think I could convince the whole school like that I broke my arm?" And he's like, "I don't know." And I was like, "I'm gonna try it." <laughs> well, just for no reason. And then I put an ace bandage on my arm. And then I went to school, and everyone was like, "Yo, what happened?" I was like, "Oh, I, I broke my arm. Like, like my me and my brother were like fake fighting, and I fell down the steps. Not a good story, <laughs> but I had a bandage on my arm, so why would you not believe me?" I, I, they go, "Where's the cast?" I go, oh, "I'm getting it tomorrow." And and then <laughs> everyone's like, "Okay." Tomorrow never came. You just kept coming back with the bandage. No, no, I had less than that. So I just told everyone that all day, and then everyone was like, "All right." And then I didn't wear the ace bandage ever again. And then like. <laughs> Did so, anyone bring it up? <laughs> well, yeah, once again, like three weeks later, two two girls in my class were like, hey, what? I thought you broke your arm. I go, no, nah, I made that up. <laughs> Every time I get caught, I go, nah. I just, I was fucking with you. <laughs> Is it a lie if the moment uh, I'm done with it, I'll tell you that's a lie. No, then it becomes true. <laughs> <laughs> then it's like you actually did break your arm for one day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. It's really fun to... A good <laughs> I can't believe you did that because I always found it was like really fun to fuck with like guys in middle school. Yeah. Like mm. I told this one boy, because he was like, do girls get anything that's like boners? And I was like, yes, when we get horny... We rub our pinky against our knee really aggressively. So anytime you see a girl doing that, it's probably because she wants to fuck. <laughs> so we just thought no one ever wanted to fuck because no one does that. <laughs> he was like, "Whoa, that's that's." Or did crazy. you do it be like, "Hey"? I, maybe it wasn't the knee. Maybe it was like the thigh. It was like it was like this, okay. you know. <laughs> uh, but he he believed it. He was like, "That's weird. I've never seen that." And I was like, "Hmm." Mm. Guess we know why. Guess we know why. Yeah. You're unfuckable. You're an unfuckable <laughs> child. <laughs> yeah, and retrospect, what you did was a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm oh, That's fine. He just probably was like emotionally scarred for the rest of his life. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> and that's valid. No, he's probably, no, that's funny. That's funny. I like nah, that. He's got a fun story now. He, yeah, he yeah. watches his podcast. Yeah, he tells people. He tells people all about that. <laughs> yeah. And that man was um, uh, Dave Obama. Chappelle. Obama, feel old yet? <laughs> Dave a man Chappelle. with Brock, dude, was Dave wow. Chappelle. Yeah, I went to middle school with him. I Damn. was bamboozled, transfixed. It's <laughs> pretty good. Thanks. Should we get well, into listener let's submissions? Do it. Okay, oh, let's do it. I'm so excited to run these by you. So basically, we have listeners write in. Sometimes they want advice. Sometimes they just want us to talk. Hell yeah, dude! I, I got a. Uh, I got one. This is directed mainly to Gabby. All right, so. Hi, Meerkats. This one is in particular meant for Gabby, but I suppose the rest of you could add your input. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this The rest of you guys, can talk, I'm I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head out. Okay, so I have really, really bad luck at baseball games. And by that, I mean mm. my aunt is a huge fan of, lo of a local baseball team. And for the past six or so years, uh, on her birthday, she forces me and my family to come with her to a baseball game. Oh, yes. See, I personally don't really care for baseball or really any other sports, but I try my best to seem enthusiastic just for her. Oh, yeah, but every time I go with her, it seems as though the team she cheers for always lose. Is it me? Is it something else with us? Is Are all of the baseball teams just really shitty? Anyway, love the podcast. That's nice. It's your fault. Thank you. Thank you for writing in. I yeah. think it's your fault. You're making the team lose. You think it's her fault, cosmically? Yeah. yeah. It's the stars. See, I'm... <laughs> what sign is she? Yeah. This is what we need to ask. Also, we need to ask, like, does the team do well when you're not there? Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not even... I'm not even there. I like... I, I also like that she addressed it to Gabby and me and you. <laughs> Are you helping on it? Well, Gabby says nothing. <laughs> I want to hear your input, because obviously I have thoughts on whether one's individual actions can affect a whole baseball team. What, well, do, you, what do you think? Well, I'm already, I'm not even at the, at the like, I'm not even at the game in my brain. Like, mm. like I'm upset that she hasn't been honest enough with her mother to be like, I don't give a fuck about baseball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't That's care. Deep. Mom, That's I don't nice. care about baseball. I love you. Let's go to dinner. Like, do something else. Yeah. Is she, is she the only one at the game with her mom? I think it's her aunt. Or her aunt. I think it's, I think I it's the whole family. I wasn't goes. listening. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think aunts are different, too. Sometimes you have to do things for your aunt. You Wait, it's her aunt? Like yeah, it's her Definitely aunt. Definitely don't go to the fucking game, dude. Who yeah. gives a fuck if your aunt likes baseball, bro? That's a good point, actually. Yeah. That's a really good point. Go to dinner. Everyone needs to eat something, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, my aunt has the same birthday as me. Every fucking year she oh, says no. happy birthday in text. 
And I say happy birthday back because that's the only reason she's saying happy birthday. Okay. And then she responds, thank you, dot, dot, dot. And every time I go, fuck this lady. <laughs> okay? So what I'm what saying is, what I'm saying is, you're being an exceptional niece. Mm. Don't go to baseball games anymore. Yeah. So counterpoint. <laughs> Baseball's fun. Um, it's not fun when you go with your aunt because aunts and uncles notoriously want to like beat the traffic. Yeah. They want to go for like yes. two innings and then leave, which yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. You have to go and you have to zone in. If you don't like baseball, here's a way to like baseball. Take an edible because oh. it helps you focus and concentrate. It helps you not be on your phone. And you're just kind of like looking at the game and it starts to look very like soothing and therapeutic. And then you get to know the rules and everything. And then it's kind of fun. It's not a fast paced sport. Never will be a fast paced sport. Yeah. It's okay. Not everything has to be fast. That being said, do not go to a baseball game with your aunt. Go to a baseball game with your friends. I would go. I, I wish that I could have gone to a baseball game with my aunt, aunt while we were both on an edible. That would have been, that'd really be fun. fun. That'd be fun. That would be good. Does she like edibles? Uh, does aunt does like edibles? Yeah. Does the aunt like edibles? Maybe, yeah. Ask your aunt if she likes edibles <laughs> so that next time she takes you to a game, be like, I literally have one condition. And then your aunt is going to buy you a bunch of snacks yeah. and like a lot of awesome shit because that's another thing that ants are great at doing yeah. is getting you some snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, I think we just turned this into a beautiful connection for yeah. this yeah. submitter and her aunt. Oh, the, I mean, the other thing is a lot of people in my life are like, I hate baseball, but I like being drunk outside. So, like, you could just, like, get yeah. drunk outside with your friends. Yeah. Haley's nodding because her boyfriend likes baseball. <laughs> she likes being drunk outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah. And that's valid. And I think, like, you know, just make it fun. I think me and Ryan Sewitt are going to get a bunch of people together, too. That's awesome. Yeah, and I'll go to that. Game. I, would, I would love that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some yeah. of us will watch the baseball. Some of us will drink outside. And that's okay. Everyone's yeah. allowed to have different interests. The only thing that is that we all share is, like, yeah, going to a restaurant. Sounds nice. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess a big question of hers is, is she the reason the ga they're losing? Oh, yeah, we didn't even yeah, yeah, address yeah. that. Um, sometimes I go to a Yankee game and I'm like, if I like think hard enough about like something this one player is doing, like they will do well. And I sometimes have an it works. I have an, what if it's the ants presence who's <gasps> making the team lose? And oh. if she goes to a baseball game on her own, they're going to win. Ah. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening. Go to a game on your own. Go to, yeah, buy a ticket for a game on your own to a, a, a sporting event you don't like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a terrible day, a terrible but the day. team's going to win, yeah. so you did a good thing. Yeah, and if the team wins, you tell your aunt, she won't understand at all, and you'll have yeah. to go again. <laughs> and, then, and it'll be funny if you tell your aunt, and be like, yeah, the team won. They actually did amazing. I don't know why every time you and I go, they they don't. They don't, yeah. Make her feel self-conscious about it. Make her feel like, is it me? Yeah, exactly I think I think saying. it's her. That's it's exactly the aunt. what I'm saying. Make your aunt feel real bad about herself. Anyway, what's the next one? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a fun one. Who's your biggest hear me out fictional character? I'll go first. Mine is Duck from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. What is that? Oh, that's oh, good stuff. Don't. What's your What's your biggest hear me out? Hear well, me see, out. here's the thing. I I under I know what that. Uh, I know that uh, I know what "Don't touch me, I'm scared" is. It's it's funny stuff, but I don't understand the "Don't hear me out." What does that mean? Oh, hear me. <laughs> oh, it's someone who like it's funny stuff. It's someone it's you have to defend line. to people that you think they're attractive. They're oh, like, no, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Something from like film or TV. Hear me out. Oh, oh, easy, bro. Fuck, am I? I'm gonna forget her name. God damn. What was it? What's the show? What's the franchise? What oh, it? fuck. What is the woman's? Ah, oh, I fucking. Woman is from what? God damn it. She's from uh, uh, Shape of Water. Shape of Water. Oh, okay. Sally Rooney? No. Sally Hawkins. Yeah. Oh, Sally, Sally Rooney okay. is a writer. Sally oh Hawkins. God, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. She's really hot. Yeah. She's also not fictional. Although in The Shape of Water, her role, I guess, is fictional. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta well be that. so it's nice. gotta be a cartoon. Is what you're telling me? <laughs> no, no, no. It just has to be a hear me out. Someone that you have to like. No, no. I but I don't think it can be a celebrity. Like I think oh, the it can't idea be a is. Celebrity? So this is Duck from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Which, by All the right, way, me. this is a crazy hear me out. Yeah, it's crazy. This is insane. That's not a hot duck. <laughs> we've, all seen, we've all seen. I've hot seen a hotter hot duck. We have seen yeah. hot ducks yeah. in. Yeah. I have seen Park. a much hotter duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's not a hot duck. No. I'm I'm trying to think what my hear me out is. Oh gosh. There's definitely some cartoons where I was kind of like they had some sauce. You, you guys, the are brooms from Fantasia are low key thick. Oh yeah. Well, I don't have a hear me out. I feel like I yeah. feel like, I feel like I have like a, there are fictional characters that are attractive, unquestionably. Yeah. yeah. Fucking uh, Mrs. Incredible. Yeah. Oh, that's not even a hear me out. That's just like a, we're all in agreement. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, that's not a, a hear me out is something like indefensible. Like, yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? I always kind of thought Patrick Starr was kind of handsome. Patrick Starr. Just like a big oafy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, Patrick. Patrick's got some swag to him. Yeah, he just walks. He kind of bumbles around the world. I really there's no way he doesn't have a. There's no way he doesn't have an enormous penis. He's got a. He's got. A huge uh-huh. penis. He has no penis. Have you seen the show? Uh-huh. He's a starfish. Yeah, but if he had one, it would. It'd, it'd be. It'd be an ordeal. <laughs> Lucas yeah, yeah, will not yeah. get fucked by any man except Patrick Starr. Uh-huh. I mean. I mean, he's got the Homer Simpson swag, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Homer, I never questioned out. Homer and Marge. I was, I was like, I get this. Yeah, yeah, I, I see it for sure. Yeah. What about what do you think about like Peter Griffin? Peter Griffin and Lois. Lois. I don't know that whole that whole the whole family's toxic as hell. Though. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about the family. Got no opinion on that family. They're toxic as fuck, uh. dude. <laughs> Their kids always fucking shit up. <laughs> they true. they all hate Meg. Yeah, <laughs> they all need family it's therapy. Pretty, it's pretty toxic. The other one's getting molested by the neighbor. No one cares. <laughs> it's a fucked up family, dude. <laughs> the toxic. Simpsons. The Simpsons had good values, you know. That's true. What happened? Homer was drunk. Yeah. So what? Okay. Always silly drunk, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He was the appropriate kind of drunk. Yeah. If you're gonna have a dad who's an alcoholic, you'd want Homer Simpson's vibe. That's you know? true. Yeah. yeah. I, I my dad apparently was like drunk a lot during my childhood, but I don't remember it because he was always very nice. There you go. And then like a, when I was a teenager, he quit drinking. I was like, "Did you have a problem?" He, like, but yeah. I think he just now he smokes weed all the time. Ah, yeah, more that's... of a medical issue probably. Uh, maybe or just like it's just weed is he likes weed better. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, your dad had that Homer Simpson swag. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what dude. I'm talking Did, about. Do you, either of your parents smoke weed? Do they have a relationship with? No, nah, I have an yeah. uncle. I have an uncle. No, my parents. My parents are both very like you shouldn't smoke weed. Ugh, you shouldn't do drugs. But I have one Italian uncle who uh, I found out like a couple of years ago smokes all the time. Smokes with my cousin all the time. Mm. But all of his brothers are like, weed is horrible. How dare you? Oh wow! And That's then every cool. once in a while, he's like, who gives a fuck about weed? And they're all like, ah, I don't know. Eh. Yeah, I had a very big threshold moment when I found out. Most people in my family smoke weed. Oh, really? Yeah. That's like tight. a good number of them. My Yeah, mine's just like, they all drink. My mom's side of the family, uh, debilitating alcoholics. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nor- Norwegian. Norwegian, yeah. Is that yeah, a yeah, thing? Yeah. Do Norwegians drink? They... Is yeah. it because they're they almost back. Irish? They fuck with schnapps. <laughs> they do it. They, yeah, they yeah. Do it yeah. They'll have a yeah. schnitzel and a brew. Oh, yeah. baby. I who, love a schnitzel. Who won't? <laughs> yeah, who won't? <laughs> I should have okay, said bratwurst. Well, that's it's still German. Anyway. Yeah. Bratwurst, bratwurst <laughs> is good. Oh, I can fuck with a bratwurst. Anyway, but when we got to the bottom of here. What would you say? I kind of want bratwurst now. Ooh, I would love to get a brat. It's so Memorial Day to- after all. Shout out to the Fallen. Shout out to the Fallen. <laughs> what we get to the bottom of? Uh, what, what we really found out here was uh, this listener, while very lovely that they wrote in, you're crazy for that one, dude. Yeah. yeah. That duck is awful. <laughs> that, that duck, duck is, is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Also, explain to us why the duck is hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't even hear it out. They're like, hear me out. I'm like, no. I'm no, not hearing you I out. Won't was there the rest out. of it? Was there more to it? No. Nope. Nope. They just said this is my hear me out? <laughs> yep. Yeah. They didn't even follow the fucking rule of the, the own question, bro. What are we talking about here? We have nothing to hear out, nothing we're going to hear out. Yeah. They wanted okay. our hear, hear us out, but like we have, we're normal, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> hacked, dude. <laughs> I, got, I got another one up here. All right. I'm part of a stage crew for a cute little production of a musical called Hunk. I really don't care for some of my castmates, Ugh. and I only really Classic. decided to do this. I only really decided to do this show because my dad is the music director, when I could have been a stage manager for a production of American Idiot. One... How do I not get on myself too hard for making the idiot decision I did? And two, how do I keep myself grounded and positive through the process of this show? You guys can take this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of your fans get forced to do things for, by their family. Yeah, there are a lot of people who don't know how to adv- advocate for themselves. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of people. Um, this sounds like a young man. It's, yeah, I don't know. Or a young person. Oh, We don't know yet. We don't know the Wait, gender. So the, the, they sound young to me. Definitely can, young. Can you recap it for me for a second? Yeah, it was a lot. Uh, this this individual uh, is part of stage crew for a production of a musical where their dad is the music director, and they wanted to be a stage manager on a different production. So they're like Troy Bolton, but in the same field. It's not yeah. like basketball and theater. It's like theater and other theater. It's like theater and a different production probably going on in the next room. Yeah. They're, 
not liking that they do. I think it's important to tell your family what you want to do artistically. Yeah. I think it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it's not going to last too long. It's only one. Uh, it's only one show. It's only it's one also, show. It's, like, yeah. it's a good experience of like how to um, keep your morale up for something you don't personally feel that much investment in. Yeah. And that is a, that's an important skill you need just in life. Yeah, yeah. How to get through like something where you're like, this isn't my passion, but this is something I need to do whole ass deep. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say do the best job you can. Uh, also, I'm asking the age because like, it's, I mean, if you're like early 20s or like, I don't know, if you're like 20 years old, if you're in that early 20 range and you're already thinking about like, you, it seems like they're very present with their thoughts and emotions on this, mm. which is already I a good thing. Guess, I would guess this person is in high school. I would guess, guess college. Really? I thought I college. Guess, I was guessing high school because their dad is the music director. I was like, this sounds like a school person. Oh, sure. But music director could be college. I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. Either way. You're, th you're, he's, they seem very present with themselves mm. and that should be a thing like, because they're asking like, how do I not get hard on myself? Like yeah. you're, you're already thinking about this in a very uh, good way. Yeah. J and I would say just do a good job and then next time just be honest with your dad. Be like, oh, I want to do this production instead. Yeah. It's good to know what you don't want to do. Yeah. That's very it's good. It's good to know. It's yes. very important. Yeah. yeah. Good Indeed. advice, Jake. This is yeah. very good advice. Speaking of present with like oneself. Call your dad a bum ass loser. No, yeah, call yeah. It and go to and go to a game with you your can't aunt. Direct music for shit. <laughs> go to a game with your aunt, take an edible with her. Yes. <laughs> we have yeah. one final question that we ask everyone. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we want to know how you feel that you are perceived by others. Like oh. what the perception is of you, and then we'll tell you how we actually perceive you. Wow. It'd be so funny if I say something like nice and you guys are like, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so That's what you think? Well, we think that you fucking suck. Yeah, we yeah. actually hate you. That's crazy. <laughs> so we're, that's, hey, we're doing a hard bait and switch. I see you gearing up right now. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that people perceive me as like, uh, like a nice, easygoing uh, person. Mm. Like easy to be around. I feel like people are usually like they seem happy to see me. Uh, I don't know someone that you can like talk to and they'll listen. I think and, you. Uh, I think you hit it. You nailed yeah, it on the yeah, head. Yeah. Yeah. What, so, yeah. what about like your your family, like people who aren't even comics? Like, how do you think they perceive you? Uh, they probably perceive me as like uh, like a silly, jokey person, but like somebody who like. Uh, uh, Despite being silly, like very serious about certain things and like a hard worker and shit. Mm. That's, yeah. yeah. I definitely, I, when I, f I can't remember when I first met you. I think it was when I saw your set at Jerry show and it was a really, it was really fun. But I feel like, yeah, I, I'm always excited to see you around. You're very easy to talk to. You're very fun to talk to. Uh, I, at the party on Saturday, you let me like cry to you and that was very nice. Oh yeah. Well, and you yeah. were, and you made me laugh, which I liked. You're like a compassionate, good dude, I think. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come I've basically I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very nice. Thank you. Yeah. I know. I, I would say very similar to kind of what you said, that you're always someone I'm like, oh, nice. Jake's here. Oh, hell yeah. It's like you're very easy to talk to, very easy to get along with. It's just like it's always like I've never seen you in a bad mood. And if so, it's never something you make someone else's problem. And like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I imagine you could get in a bad mood, but, like, maybe not in front of people, if that makes... Like, or people who, like, are, like, in random social situations with mm. you. Because that's I, how yeah. I am. I have a bad I, temper, like, outside of, like... Mm. One other thing, uh, very briefly, is that I feel like the person you are on stage is exactly the same person you are. Oh, that thank I you, get man. To know. I is appreciate that. I feel, that. Is that I... I feel feel like it's like it's in the same groove yeah that yeah. you that you know exactly who you are and you're able to channel it really well into comedy in a way that's very unique oh, somehow you, even man. though like when i think about like how you tell jokes i'm like no this feels like very like classic and like yeah. the way stand-up is is done by so many people but it still somehow feels extremely unique to you oh thank you man i yeah. appreciate that yeah 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 thank you yeah i mean i yeah that's that's a very, that's, I really appreciate that compliment. Cause I try, try to be, I try and make it so that I'm as much myself on stage. Cause I was real bad at that in the beginning. I like, really? to, yeah. What were you like at the beginning? I would have glimpses of being myself and then, but I just wasn't like confident enough in what I was saying. And also I, I, I started like, I feel like the stuff I talk about is like personal in a way that like is scary when you start. Mm -hmm. So like, I just, instead of like, 
instead of like saying something personal and then continuing through it, I would say something personal. People would look at me weird and then I'd be like, uh, yeah, and I would like fall into a bomb. I would, I would fall into a bomb a lot. Like I would like, the crowd would feel a little weird and instead of me like staying steadfast, I would end up feeling weird and it would yeah, uh, fuck myself all yeah. the time. Yeah, that's uh, something I like a lot about your material is it's really personal. And you'll, I, I like that, I don't know. Sometimes, Jake, when I'm watching you, I feel like I'm also learning, but not like oh. facts about the world. Yeah, just like yeah. facts about <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing that nothing means important. Anything. I'm learning. It's not educational, but yeah. I am learning. Yeah. Not important. I I learn like how you think, <laughs> and I think about how I think. Yeah, yeah. as well. Like, mm. I also I also like how you talk about how sex is bad sometimes, which is just like a great concept. Sex is bad sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we're all, you we're all sleep trying our best. best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I we feel all like are trying our best. That's a good philosophy. I feel like that's a philosophy you tend to have. It's just like we're all trying our best. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, yeah. it's also that it's one of my one of my favorite bits of yours when you say I hooked up with a friend. Weird move. <laughs> 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 Probably a bad move. <laughs> Time will tell. <laughs> it's such a good sequence. Weird it's, move, yeah. It's oh, such a good you, sequence of words, but it's also like such a hilarious point of view where you're like, I'm doing something very volatile. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so good. <laughs> you guys are too nice, dude. This is, oh, uh, I didn't know yeah. this podcast was get so nice. Dude, you guys are great. I love your guys' stand up. Yeah. You guys are fucking, every time I, I see you guys, I'm excited. Shut up. Yeah. Would you please plug and promote anything oh, you have sure. going on? Yes. In I don't know, where do I look here? And career of Jake Latitsi. Uh, yeah, t- look there and, and wink. Dads Like Ducks, June 30th, uh, BCC, Brooklyn Comedy Collective. If you live in Brooklyn or any borough in the city, come through. Uh, yeah, June 30th, 7 p.m. It's going to be a fucking great show. And it's going nice. to be a great time. It's going to be a good time. It's a good time. And then uh, Talking to Myself is my podcast. Uh, every week it comes out. And then, uh, yeah, Instagram, J the letter J, mother, father, sister. Hell what was yeah. the origin of that username? I just thought it was funny. It is funny. <laughs> and now I'm like, should I just change it to Jake Letizia? But I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I like, I it, like well. it too. Yeah, I like it. I've never changed from hip soccer mom. People are like, are you a mom? And do you like soccer? I'm like, no and no, but I don't care. But that's who you are in your core. Yeah. I'm at my core. I'm hip At my mom. core, I am Lucas Theodore Arnold. <laughs> 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 you're, you're such a Theodore. <laughs> such I a know. Lucas. I feel like yeah. a mother and a father and a sister. Good. Never a beautiful. brother. Never a brother. Never a brother. Even though you are one. <laughs> but you know what? Why are you denying of who the you are? Three? Huh? Why are you denying who you are? I think of the three, I'm the sister. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see it for what, you. what makes you sisterly? Uh I like I'm the one who argues with my mom about abortion. <laughs> As the most feminine son, I'm like, there's no daughter to do this, so I'm the daughter now. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, awesome. oh, what do I got going on? Uh, I'm going to a comedy festival in New Orleans this Hell weekend. Hell yeah, you are. So uh, put up some pics, sweet, sweet pics from that. Yeah. Still, uh, still, I'm still the host of uh, Roasted at Grove 34. Yeah, you oh. are. Fun, fun room, less incel than some roasts, I think, I hope. And uh, we try to make it a nice vibe. People drink, people hang it's, out. It's if show, you're yeah. ever in Astoria, go there. And then what else? I'm just around, you know, bopping around. What's like a non-comedy thing? Oh, my softball season started. Hell yeah, dude. And uh, let, I need to come to a game. Let's I'll just go to say. A game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, w- I want to go. I went once uh, last year and it was so much fun. Oh, yeah. He That's just watched tight. me run around. Uh, let's great. just say I turned it on. She's running play. around. She's a great little runner around her. <laughs> What do you what do you got, Lucas? Anything uh, <laughs> uh I got I got no shows to plug. Uh maybe next episode I will, but I, I think I might have something at the end of the month. I don't have it off the top of my head. I might, but uh but yeah, I have nothing to plug at the moment. Oh my god. He's got nothing to plug. Nothing to plug at all, dude. Nothing no plugless. Big, no big announcements, nothing. I'm unplugged. <laughs> Thank you, listeners. Thank you, Jake Latina. Thank you for having me. Had so, much fun. So, much. so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. You thank you to Stand Up New York. Thank you, thank to, you Haley. to Haley. No thank you to Lucas. <laughs> what? But thank you to Theodore. But thank you to Theodore. Yeah. <laughs> Can you rename yourself Theodore? No. I no, uh, that's my grandfather's name. My dad's dad. It would be too weird for me. Okay, is he is your grandfather alive? What do you think? <laughs> I was just asking because I'm single now, so <laughs> I'm curious. I've been wanting to say this the whole time since we said Lucas, uh, it could be a slur. The whole time I was like, if you ever get lupus, that'll be funny. Lucas with lupus. Yeah. 
Loopy Lukey. <laughs> yeah. Not worth saying, but I want to say it. Lucas with Lupus. Dude. Well, we're at the yeah. end, so we can say whatever we want. No one's listening or watching at this point. Let's Loopy say what we Lukey. really feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Jews. <laughs> See you next time. Take it time. away. <laughs> <laughs>